Hello, I'm Vanessa. This is Andrew. Welcome to the Yogi Moksha channel. Thank you for watching this short yin yoga video for the upper body. We don't often practice a lot of upper body practices in yin yoga and so today we thought we'd come up with a sequence that would just give a bit of love to the shoulders, the chest, um, the arms, those areas that we perhaps don't spend as much time on as we should. So coming to the mat or wherever you've chosen to practice today, just coming to a comfortable seated position, either seated cross-legged as we are, you could be choosing to sit on a block or perhaps kneeling. When you're ready, just close down the eyes or if you prefer, you could allow your gaze to drop gently to the mat, to the floor. Just taking a couple of moments to arrive, to prepare for the practice. Maybe bringing your attention to your breath. Noticing the breath as it comes into the body. Noticing as it leaves the body through your exhale. taking this time at the start of our practice to let go of anything else that you may have been doing or thinking about. Mentally switching off and preparing yourself for the practice that you're about to commence. Deep inhale here, long exhale, and then gently allow the eyes to open or lift the gaze. We are going to start with some stretches for the neck, so you can remain in this seated position. Or if you need to make adjustments, you can change the cross of your legs or perhaps move to kneeling. Just find yourself in a comfortable position. And when you've arrived there, we're going to gently allow the head to drop forward Feeling stretch down the back of the neck. So we're not forcing into any position here. Just being very gentle, coming to a point that you can comfortably hold for a couple of minutes. Feeling that stretch right down the back of the neck. If you do need a little more here, you could bring one hand to the back of the head, just putting some gentle weight, not pushing down or pulling, just allowing the weight of the hand to help gravity along allowing your head to sink a little closer to the chest. But also know that if this becomes too much and you're putting too much stress on your neck, 
and just allow that hand to drop back down. Taking a few more breaths in this position. Allowing the connective tissues that run right down the back of the neck into the top of the spine to relax and release here. Next breath, we're going to very gently bring the head back up. Moving slowly, if you have been holding that position for a while. Just coming back to a neutral position, taking any small movements that you may need, you feel you need here. to allow the head to drop backwards. So lifting the chin towards the ceiling, just allowing the head to fall back, feeling that stretch this time down the front of the neck. You could have your eyes closed here or you could be looking up towards the ceiling. Stretching out the front of the neck, the throat. Just bring some gentle compression into the back side of the neck, the cervical spine here. Remembering that we want to Keep breathing. If you're finding the breath is becoming a little choppy, you're perhaps trying to push the position a little far, so just bring yourself back out of the pose or allow yourself to back off a little. We're trying to be in a position where we can try and maintain nice, steady, natural breath. One more breath in this pose. And then very slowly, very gently, bringing the head back to the center. We're going to allow the head to fall to the wards, the right shoulder now. So we're looking for that stretch down the left hand side of your neck. So ear comes towards shoulder. Feeling that stretch all the way down the left hand side of the neck. You could try adjusting the position of your arm. So your left arm could come reach down towards the ground. You may find that that intensifies the stretch a little. You could try bringing that arm behind your back and taking hold of it the wrist with the right arm and just sort of pulling slightly, that will also help the stretch down that left hand side of the neck. Or some people like to again use the opposite hand for a bit of weight on the head just to gently help gravity move the head towards the right shoulder. So just choosing the variation that gives you the 
the most effective stretch down the left hand side of your neck. We're not looking for pain here, we're looking for a comfortable stretch, comfortable stress to the tissues. is very delicate so we want to be moving carefully slowly so when you're ready to swap to the other side just gently bringing the head back to the center taking a breath there before you allow the left ear to fall towards the left shoulder this time So this time feeling the stretch down the right hand side of the neck. Remembering that you have options, you could use the hand to help intensify that stretch. So pushing down through the right hand or bringing the right hand behind your back or using the left hand to just put a very gentle amount of pressure on the head, not pulling. Just the way, using the weight of the hand to help the head to gently stretch towards the left hand shoulder. So releasing through the right hand side of the neck all along the shoulder muscles there. This can be quite a lovely stretch through the neck and shoulders. Especially if you've been spending a lot of the day working or in a position where you are sort of rounding or hunching forward. Just taking the neck in those four directions can help to release any tension that may have built up there during the day. So taking one more breath here. Gently allowing the head to come back to centre again. Allowing muscles and the bones of the neck to just adjust to their normal position. Our next posture we're going to be working through the shoulders and the arms and will also give us a bit of an opening through the chest. So probably the easiest way to get into this posture is to bring your right arm out to the right and I might actually ask Andrew to flip around so he can you can see from the back. So if you bring your right arm out to the right horizontally, we're then going to twist the hand so that the thumb faces down and then bend the hand behind our back. You then bring the left arm out to the left, thumb remains facing up, bring the arm up above the head and then allow the hand to bend down in the direction towards connecting the fingers. Now not everybody will be able to join the hands here so your options are to take hold of um, your clothing so take hold of your top if you wish or if you have a strap or a belt to hand then you could use that as well to join help you join the hands so once you've found your posture here for another two minutes, just settling into a position that you can comfortably hold for that time. 
You're getting a nice opening through the chest, the armpit, and the inside of the top arm. You're also going to be feeling this posture along the outside of the shoulder of the bottom arm. muscles around the chest, the shoulder, the upper back. Moving the scapula and the clavicle bones here. The humerus or the upper arm bone. particular posture is one where it is very common to notice a difference on one side of the body to the other so we often have one side of our arm and chest and shoulder muscles which are a little tighter a little stronger perhaps than the other so depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed you may be finding that this side of the pose is going to be easier or harder than the one that we're about to move to. So releasing the hands now. Let me go of the arms, maybe just taking a moment to give them a little shake, allow the shoulders to relax. We get ready to move to the other side. So this time left arm is going to come out to the side, thumb facing down. We're going to bend that hand behind our back, up between the shoulder blades. Right arm out, comes out to the front, sorry out to the side, thumb facing up. Arm comes up towards the sky and then bending at the elbow to reach down and take hold of fingers if you can, remembering the options are there for you to just take hold of your shirt if you can't reach, or you could use a strap or a belt to help connect your hands here. So it can be a difficult posture to get into for a lot of people, but it really does provide a stretch through the arms and shoulders that many of the other postures that we do in yoga don't really give that same opening. So finding your position here. Again, we're holding for two more minutes. If that sounds challenging to you, then perhaps you'd like to Turn your attention to the breath. Breathing into any areas where you may be feeling tension. Be that in the arms, the shoulders, the back. Or maybe it's in your hips, knees. Directing your areas, noticing what happens when you do.
front, front of the chest, the back of the shoulders, front of the shoulders. Releasing the fingers, letting go of the hands, and allowing some circulation to return to those joints and muscles. Preparing for our next position. So we are remaining seated for all of these postures today. Um, you might like to take the opportunity to adjust your position now. Maybe adjust the cross of the legs or come from seated to kneeling if that's what you would prefer. Sometimes we just need to move to get a little bit of circulation happening. Our next posture is going to be working through the back of the shoulders and upper arms and across the back. So we're going to come into eagle arms. So both arms come out to the side. We're going to cross the left arm on top of the right in front of the body. Crossing at the elbows and if you can you can also cross at the wrist to join the hands into a prayer like position. If you can't cross at the wrists, crossing just at the elbows is fine or you could take hold of opposite shoulders if you need something to grip onto. You're looking to feel a stretch across the upper back and shoulders, down the outside of the arms. And if you'd like to here, you could also just round the back a little to help intensify that stretch through the upper shoulders. Again, using the breath to help release areas of tension. As you settle into this pose, you might like to try moving the position of your head, seeing what impact that has on the posture if you turn your head to the left or the right perhaps drop the heading forward slightly posture doesn't have to look the same every time you come into it it's really about finding what it is that your body needs today Just a couple more breaths here now. to fall down by the side, perhaps taking a few shoulder rolls, any stretches that you might need before we get ready for the next side. So reaching the arms out to the side, this time crossing the right on top of the left, crossing at the elbows, 
you're happy to take hold of the shoulders here, then that's an option, of course. If you're looking for a little more, then you can try to also cross at the wrists. Taking hold of opposite palms or maybe just taking hold of the thumb. Feeling that stretch through the upper back and shoulders, the outside of the arms. Remembering you could choose to round through the back here if you wish. Finding that head position that is comfortable, that gives you the best stretch through your shoulders and arms today. Wrapping the arms. We've completed our postures working through the neck and shoulders, upper body today. So just coming now to enjoy a rebound with just a short shoulders, the neck. So allow yourself to relax, come into a position that is comfortable for you. Let go of any tension that you might be holding. Allow all the muscles in your body to relax here. you're feeling some tingling through the arms and shoulders. Perhaps you're noticing change in temperature. Maybe that area of your body is feeling a little warmer or a little cooler than it did before you started the practice. By moving through these postures for the neck, shoulders, the upper arms, back and chest, we've increased the circulation in those areas, flow of blood, flow of energy. So 
we just enjoy the sensations, whatever it is you may be feeling. You can, of course, remain in this position for as long as you choose. If you do need to move, then start to bring some gentle movement back to the fingers, the toes. Take any stretches or wriggles that your body might need here. Gently bring yourself back to a seated position. Thank you so much for joining us for this short practice for the upper body. Namaste. Namaste.